it's me, Stone the Bean, and welcome back to some more Direwolf 20 for 1.12.2. Yes, we are back here on the server. And today I'm joined by nobody because no one's on. Um, yeah. Yeah, no one's on. Um, but guys, if you're still enjoying this series, then please do stomp on that like button for me. Also, if you need to the channel, then why not subscribe? It is totally free. Just do it. It's free. You might as well. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to come and join the server, then uh, head on over to Patreon. Link is in the description down below, or link in bio. <laughs> uh, right. Anyway, um, I'm having issues. I'm I'm having problems. Power problems. Of all things, I've got power problems. And I don't know why, right? This thing is full, and its output is 500,000 RF a tick, right? And 500, 5,000 RF a tick. So I was just looking to see whether I could upgrade. I, I mean, I'd like one of those. Uh, what's that? Simple power center? What does that do? This block can store power, optionally in a big multi dimensional structure. Right. So it's just the cheap version, is it? Because this one's a little bit more expensive. And then this one's even more expensive because I need this dimensional shard. Which we can make, but I don't have enough prismarine and nether quartz and all that business to be uh, getting on with that. But my problem is this, right? Okay, I've got that one place of where all my power's coming in. Now what I could do, and, and I've thought about, is I could upgrade to the, to the, to the, the best uh, leadstone or whatever... I don't know what what what's what's the choices. Uh, no, not lead. Uh, let's do um, uh, at thermal. Thermal. Um, I think we can have this the signalum flux duct, uh, which takes the redstone energy flux duct. Um, uh, no, that's this guy. Uh, and then we need empty energy flux ducts, which is electrum, which makes those. And then we can put redstone inside them, and that makes them a little bit better. But, oh, one matter joined and left. <laughs> but, I mean, and then that's great because, like, these, they transfer 9,000 RF a tick, which is fantastic. But that's a lot of cabling to run from my power farm over here. Aha! Whoa, there's a lag spike there. Hey, hey! All right, we're landing in the trees. It's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So that's a lot to send from my power farm over here. Um... Yeah, it's it, it's an awful lot, if I'm honest. Uh, how's this thing doing? Is this full yet? 187,000 of those are in there. Uh, these are all full. Uh, these are all full. These these are all full and full of power. So power's not an issue as such, in terms of it being like, oh, that one's not full. Uh, 185 out of 60,000. Why? Why you know? Why you know got power and the rest out? Let me see. These these should all be powered up nicely. Yeah, I'm just having a bit of a weird thing with the power at the moment. And I think my problem is the power transfer. Because these are full. Um, I haven't actually checked them, but I'm assuming they're full. Yes, they're full. It's just this guy can only output 5,000 RF a tick. And my base over there currently runs more than 5,000 RF a tick. Because I put my miner on. See, all these should be full as well. These are all full of power, yep. Yep, they're all full of power. I know they are. Yep. Uh, I put my miner on. See, this is full. And this is full. So everything is running beautifully. And the trees are just getting filled up over there. So that's brilliant. Um, my only choice is I can either hardwire my base in or figure out some way of wirelessly transferring that power to the base. And then using that power to go into the base somehow. And I don't really sort of have a great idea of how to do that. So my thoughts were, how about a temporary, very temporary power setup so that I can run this guy um, and I can run uh, everything and, and get it all running beautifully. Uh, by the way, uh, decorated the room. Uh, what do we think? <laughs> I'm just following the same uh, setup that I did last time. I kind of... Uh, I kind of like this 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 look of the the white and the black. It, it's it's kind of nice. It's nice to have it running all throughout the base. So yeah, so that's what I'm thinking about doing is having like a just a temporary power setup over here to allow me to um, to to get some get some more energy going and hardwire it into the base. Now I uh, haven't really picked out a spot yet. 
But I was thinking somewhere over here. Because obviously, this thing, while it's here, yeah, it's okay. It's it's not that great. I, I won't lie. It's, it's, it's a bit rubbish. <laughs> it really is. Because you've got to remember that that one uh, energy cube or power cell is powering all of these machines. It's uh, an awful lot. And I don't know any other way of wirelessly sending energy at the moment. Um, I know you guys in the comments there will be able to go, Well, you should look at doing this and you should look at doing that. But if I type in wireless... Um, yeah, I have this guy, the wireless RF battery. I have these guys. Uh, what's the what's the power for those? Because see, now that's that's possibly that's possibly that is actually that's not too bad. I could I could store all that energy in those power cell cube things. Like I've got 18 million, right? Okay, so I've got 18 million stored in here. And then another 18 million stored in here. If I was to make or say break, no, I could make another two of these guys and then have them at the base hardwired in like we were saying, then that way I would have a buffer because at the moment they're all just running off this one energy cell, which could, like I say, only 5,000 RF a tick, whereas the transfer rate on these is 9,000 RF a tick. And if I had it hardwired in, that would actually work a little better. So, hmm. I think I'm, I'm going to stick to what I want to do. Uh, and that is um, because it's going to help me in other ways as well. So I might as well just, I mean, it's just another generator that I'm going to build. Um, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna make this generator. And then, oh, did I see a sign over there? I thought I saw a sign. Is that a sign? No, had to fix. Sorry. I've got to check because sometimes I get things left at the base and I never know. Uh, because obviously my land is claimed and, and people can't just place what they want. Right, anyway, let's get on with what I want to do. So, uh, first things first, I want to make myself just one, but we're going to do it. Lava. Lava. La uh, is it not called a lava? Alright, gen. Generator. Let's make, uh, right, so, so it's, it's part of this guy, the magmatic generator. That's it. I want to make one of those. So I want to teach my machine how to make this. I would like to teach my machine how to make uh, this guy, like so. Uh, it already knows how to make a chest. We Redstone and all that is easy. Uh, and then I would like to teach it how to make this magmatic generator. There we go. Also, we're going to need ourselves a pump. So, P U M P. Now, there should be a ranged pump. Uh, what we got here? Fluid pump. Uh, pump power tier one there. There should be like a ranged pump. Oh, it's there. Yeah, pump from ranged pumps. That's brilliant. Uh, so, I need to teach the machine how to make a block of diamonds. And then um, I'll teach it a pickaxe recipe. There we go. And then I think mm -hmm, we are good. So, let's teach it. How to make that. So all we've got to do is just go downstairs, uh, walk up to this thing, and place those into there. I love this thing. Uh, this is fantastic. Now, I know, like, why have it downstairs when you've got all this? Trust me, I'm going to move refined storage down there as well. So if we type in here, uh, generator, we should be able to craft ourselves just one of these. That's all we need. And that shouldn't take too long. There we go. And then if we type in pump as well, we should be able to do that. So P U M. P, there we go, let's have one of those guys, please. And it's as quick as that. Um, and then the other thing we're going to need is some ender tanks. Uh, e -N -D -E -R. Uh, ender tanks, this guy here. We're going to need a couple of these. So again, uh, let's go to teaching the machine how to make them because they do quite often get used. Um, so let's make one of you. And uh, we, we already know how to make all of this. Uh, we need to know how to make white wool from string because string is a commodity that we have lots of um okay so let's do that and then we are good to go we should be able to go down here and throw all those in i love that machine uh and then do this and ask for tank and then we're going to want two of these guys so let's do that and there we go two straight away that's how cool it is right so i'm going to need a couple of diamonds so let's head over to the pulverizer because i have some diamond ore uh ready to rock and roll that should give me 16 diamonds out of here i only need two for the time being and um, what we're going to do 
is we will make these. Uh, do we have? How can we make orange dye? Let me think about this. Uh, let me let me smack that with a diamond so it belongs to me. There we go. And do orange, orange, o r a n g e, uh, orange dye. How do we get that? Red and yellow. Do we have red and yellow? We have red. Do we have? Is there any way of getting yellow, dandelion yellow from that? No, uh, I must have yellow somewhere. Dandelion yellow comes from these guys. There we go. I know I could pulverize it, but never mind. Right, let's just make me some orange, please. Six, that's perfect. And then we're going to make these orange because orange lava, right? Yeah? Yeah, there we go. Cool, right. Okay, so they're done. Uh, the next thing we're going to need, oh man, that's hard to hit, is some obsidian. Uh, are we going to, no, not obsidian. We're going to want fluidux. F L U I fluidux. And we want the hardened fluidux because um, maybe any temperature. There we go. We need something that's any temperature. Now I'm going to grab a signal, um, not a signalum. I keep, I've got signalum in my head. I don't know why. It's because I want to upgrade my machines. I'm going to grab myself a servo. Um, because just in case I need one, uh, servo, 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 uh, let's do, well, let's make a bunch of these, and I know, I need to add to my storage drawers the, um, the splitty things that make blocks and, and nuggets, I know I need to do this, I, I'm fully, I'm fully aware, oh, um, no, let's put those up in there, uh, this, and then this, two three there we go and then we'll we'll go up to this the electrum version uh electrum please no 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 electrum okay i'll just do it i'll do it for you mate don't worry there we go uh so i'll grab one of these just in case i need it i'm not even sure i'm gonna need it so uh yeah okay so uh one last thing before i leave and i really need to do this is these guys have hardened uh upgrades on them Everything else is is reinforced, but this one is hardened, and that one is hardened, and I'll, I want to make two reinforced upgrades quickly. So uh, let's just type in upgrade. Uh, there we go, and let's find. Whoa, went too far. Uh, let's make the reinforced upgrades. Okay, so what do we need? We need two silver gears. One, two. I love that the gears work now, uh, instead of me having to cheat them out. There we go, we've got two upgrades for these guys as well. So now these will work a lot quicker. And I can grab this out of here and start feeding myself, right? Uh, I made too many silver gears. Uh, there's, there's sometimes a little lag issue that, that actually um, uh, causes me a problem. And that's definitely one of them, right? Okay, well, let's head to the nether and let's get this thing set up. So I just kind of need to find a place to set this down. I think it's like somewhere here will be good. Now, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I could put this anywhere around here. Range pumps. I think I used it in Invasion. And like I could just put it anywhere and it'll work and it wouldn't be a problem. Oh, man, I've made a boo-boo. Oh, no. Urgh. Okay. Uh, is there any way? No, I can't rescue this. I need to go home. I need... <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's not good. I mean, I, I have this idea in my head and it's just gone completely wrong. Uh, don't worry though. Uh, I will fix it. I will fix it. I will just head home and, and go and grab what I need. I'll, uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I fixed that problem. Don't worry about it. I forgot buckets. Um, so I'm pretty sure this range pump, like I was saying, I could literally just place that there. And then, um, if I put my generator down like so... Uh, like that and then grab myself a bucket of lava. I'm pretty sure this thing will just like start making um, Let's do that uh, uh, What the what the hold on a second hold on a second All Right, I, I hey, this is uh this is spawn by the way everybody. Yeah uh, Welcome to spawn um now, I've, I've been here before because uh, no, I, that, that belongs to me, and they can have another one. Um, yeah, this is Spawn. Uh, Ant built this place. And there's a... There's a there, see, I did that on purpose just to show you. Um, and then there's a, a fast travel to the uh, the end portal there. Um, I think one Matto put that there, and then the, the trade chest. There's no trades today. No trades! 
Oh well, never mind. Um, yeah, I kind of messed up there really, didn't I? Never mind. <laughs> right, okay, so my theory does work. It will work uh, up here. I just, <laughs> I placed it up here and it started filling up with energized glowstone. Not a great thing, if I'm honest. Uh, so I've decided to put it all the way out here. Um, and hopefully, please, please don't be full of energized glowstone, thank you. Uh, so if I put this guy down next to this like so, uh, you should not have power, that's good, you didn't keep it all. And then if we do that, this should start filling up with lava. Right, and then this, this is scanning right now. Scanning, empty, scanning. I mean, come on look dude, you're like surrounded by lava. How can it be, like... Oh, right, because it's just throwing it into there, right? Okay, so... That's getting power. That's doing its thing, and it is picking up lava. We can see now. Oh, man, I was getting worried then. I thought it weren't going to work, and it make me look stupid. Uh, so the last thing to do is just put some hardened fluid duct down. Um, let's do that. And then let's take this guy, and I'm hoping... Um, oh, it auto-outputs. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so that is slowly but surely filling up. That is going to constantly get filled up as well and produce power, so I don't need to do anything to that. All I need to know is, is that making power? Uh, the lava. That's what I was talking about. Right, uh, please don't fall in the water. Oh, oh, that would have been bad. That would have been bad. Right, so we've got lava going there, but it's not going very fast, is it? Um, what if we add a few more uh, fluid cable things to it? Because this obviously clearly outputs from both sides uh, appreciate it uh, let's do this, let's do that and that and then maybe that will start filling up quicker please, I, I want to see you fill up really fast I mean you're surrounded by lava, you should, you should be filling up really easily because I intend on using your lava to fill up one of these guys and make um, what, what's this thing doing right now uh, we could put speed upgrades in there, sweet so it's, it makes a hundred thousand RFT, but maybe I might use the uh, magmatic dynamos. I'm not sure. Not sure yet. Anyway, that is doing its thing, so all I need to do is chunk load this. Uh, let's not forget to chunk load. Uh, it may chunk load itself, but we'll claim this little area here. Um, thank you, and we'll chunk load all of those. There we go. Brilliant. Fan dabby dozy. Right, okay, let's head home and um, let's forget the mistakes. Oh, I'm going to get this while I'm here. Let's might as well, because I've got, um, yeah, I've got my stuff. Right. Whoa! 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 Okay, so we're just going to forget that that happened, that I died, and then forgot to put my slime boots back on. And uh, you can see here, these guys are all like, oops, ouch, where's your slime boots now? Was just thinking that. Well, thanks very much, guys. Uh, I do appreciate it. I'm going to totally ignore you and pretend that uh, uh, I didn't hear a word you were saying or something to that effect. Um, <laughs> let's um, let's get on with uh, the rest of this video. Anyway, right, so now we've made that. Um, uh, we can cancel that out because I would like to make... Now, I think it's called a magmatic dynamo. Magmatic... Dynamo. Now, the reason I want to make this is because I can upgrade this fairly cheaply. Um, I don't know uh, what it costs to make um, uh, the, the stuff. Right, so let's teach it in Invar Gear. Let's teach uh, the machine one of these. There we go. And anything else it needs to learn? No, let's do that then. And I'm going to get as many of these as I possibly can. So let's do that. Now, I was going to use the, um, the other guy. Uh, the one that we set up in the nether, but yeah, I want to try something different. So uh, if we type in magmatic dynamo, uh, let's try and go for, uh, let's go for 10. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be the issue, but that's okay. Um, because we can make um, uh, uh, the, the stuff, the stuff. Uh, so in var blend, in var blend is made from uh, pulverizing iron and nickel okie doke have we got nope we don't and we don't have enough invar either okay iron we should have enough and nickel All right uh, I'm probably gonna get two stacks of iron actually 
and pulverize down two stacks. Now this shouldn't take too long, so what I'll do, guys, is I will go ahead and uh, I'll get this pulverizing down. Uh, right, auto input needs to be disabled. No, I don't. No. Stop it. Thank you. Now you've got to go back in. Fifty-seven and three. There we go. Right, cool. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll get these um, pulverized up. I've got one, two, I've got three pulverizers, so I can do this uh, fairly simple. Uh, please don't send it into there. Whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, that's it, cool. Um, yeah, I'll get all these pulverized up, and then, um, yeah, we'll, I'll come back to you when I'm, when I'm ready. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so uh, we have this stuff now, and we can just do this, which will get me lots of this. Thank you. Uh, now I need uh, I need the use of redstone furnaces. There we go. Let's uh, get that going in there, and get that going in there. Oh, uh, why why are you not outputting? Auto output enabled. Thank you. I will just throw that over there then, because because I'm stupid. Uh, right, let's grab this. Um, so yes, yeah, so, uh, let's uh, let's see if we can get these auto crafted now. So it was called uh, mag magmatic uh, dynamos, and we need ten. We're missing twenty-two. Okay, that's fine. We should be able to get the twenty-two uh, already. I would have thought. So let's throw that into there, and uh, can we throw the rest of my imbar blend into there? Yeah, let's go. Right, dynamo. There we go. 10, start, start, thank you, right, 10, all done, look at that, that's cool, right, okay, so that invar needs to keep going, um, because we're going to need lots of invar anyway, uh, so, an area to place these to, oh, I kind of feel like this is the area I should be looking at, like, trying to do this, just have a, like, a little underground base type thing, uh, so, let's grab a shovel, uh, SH, and I know I've got a few. I know I've got a few because they're on auto crafting. Uh, let's put that there. And let's dig out this area down here. I think if I if I just dug out a bit of it, because it's under all of the other places, it should be okay. And I could just like literally um, connect it all up. So let's try. I've got ten, so I need two stacks of five, please. This is, this is just my secret underground uh, hidden area of power, is what I'm calling this. Uh, let's get rid of that, and then let's just go in a little bit further. Like so. Right, so uh, let's grab my dynamos. Uh, I need to go over one. Let's do this thing. fall down there do I uh, let's fill that guy up might as well now that's all done uh, and continue on like so right okay so what I'm gonna do is we'll have a line here one two like so and like I say don't worry because I can upgrade all of these so that's gonna be the best part about this so let's do uh, this like so and bring this down here like so um, we'll have this all connect just along like so uh, with one coming off here and then we'll stick this guy uh, right here there we go now they shouldn't get any until I put in the servo like so and then just tell it to start pulling which should then give all these power oh yes yeah, so it's 40 RF a tick okay that's the initial uh, power we're going to get. We're going to get 80 RF a tick from these. So, uh, we're going to need uh, upgrades now. Upgrades. Um, where are you guys? So, we're going to need 10 of these. There we go. We could make 10. I was worried. Uh, then we're going to need 10 of these. Now, I know I have enough silver gears. Uh, I'm just a bit concerned about the hardened glass. Yes, okay, cool. Right, so I should 
be able to take all these, go and place them all on, and we should be getting something like, I think it's 80 RF a tick, because the first uh, upgrade you get is, I think it puts it up to 60 RF a tick. I'll just check, um, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. There we go. You've got all of those, and we are generating... Uh, power output, yeah, maximum power is 60 RF a tick. Now, all of these are filling with lava very slowly. Very, very slowly, actually. That's a that's a big concern. Uh, but let's, um, let's, let's put the hardened upgrades in and um, get these things running at full power, uh, producing as much as I can possibly get. There we go. Um, oh, that's not good, is it? And let's go and grab some lead stone upgrades. Uh, let not upgrade, sorry, uh, leadstone. So we have six. Do we not have any at all? Uh, I mean, power is just like the biggest issue in this game for me at the moment. All right, let's grab like that many. There we go, 54. It really is a problem for me right now. Really, really is a problem. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, you there, you there, you, you there, you there. And I know this is like the most wasteful way of doing this, but I, I need it. I need this power just to keep refined storage online. I mean, refined storage is just like, it's not good. It is not good. So let me show you what my issue is. Okay, let me break the connection here and you guys can just store up all your power. So this is the issue, right? Refined storage, 128,000 RFT, right? Cool. If I go over to the miners here, and uh, let's enable those again, because I've had to disable them. And I don't like disabling them. This does use an awful lot of power, but I, I, I know we can afford it. I know we're producing enough power. But if I leave that running for a little while, you're not gonna do it now, are you? You're not, right, let me get some other machines going because like this is not producing ores and things like that. We got any ores we can smelt down in here? Um, oh, we got some diamond, nice. Uh, iridium. Uh, there's nothing, is there? There's nothing. It, it, you're just making me look stupid. Uh, right, let's, let's do ore in here. Let's grab some uh, black quartz. Because we know we can we can pulverize and smelt that. Oh, okay, there you go. That's why that's not working. Uh, auto output enabled. That's more like it. Hmm, that, that was odd. Uh, right, so that should start affecting this now. Are you really going to do this to me and make me look stupid? Because, like, I'm telling you now, right, before I started this video, this looks like a whole waste of a video, but it's not, trust me, because, like, the whole point was to get lava. Um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. You can see. It is draining. Because those are running as well, it is draining the system. And then eventually, refined storage runs out of power. Um, and if we waited a little while, we could actually see that happening. I'd love to get some of these other things going. Uh, yeah, we can actually. Let's put that into there. And uh, anything else come out of here yet that's worth putting in? A uh, bit of copper. Bit of copper, mate. Uh, oh, nether quartz. Nice. Uh, but with all these systems running, uh, it's costing me a fortune in power. And this is, this is draining properly. I mean, I'm sure you can imagine what's going to happen when it gets to zero. Refined storage shuts off. All my items are out of my uh, out of my reach. I can't get to them, and um, it's bad times all around. Now, if I put this on, yes, we can see power is finally being restored because it is literally a flow of power. That's my issue. Now, this was a temporary fix, and I kind of came up with the idea when I was uh, when I was over there that I should actually just move one of those power cubes over as a buffer because they hold 18 million RF. I mean, I know the real answer. Let's get the big, like, um, uh, draconic thing going on. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I just, um, I mean, I will do eventually, but just not yet. But if I move one of those over there, that will give me a buffer of allowing energy transfer. And I definitely need uh, to go mining in the nether. So I may have to set up something for that system to uh, to help me out there. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it there. If you did enjoy them, please do stomp on that like button for me. 
Also, if you're new to the channel, then uh, then why not subscribe? Uh, it is totally free. You, you don't even have to pay to do so. Um, and yeah, if you want to come and join the server, then head on over to Patreon. Link is in the description below. And uh, Podge and One Matter are on. So, there we go. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I've been Stomp the Bean. This has been Direwolf20 for 1.12.2. And I'll see you in the next video. Street.